Hello, everybody. Welcome to Do It Yourself with Barbie Travels. We are here today to do our number two, part two, of the French fry bar that I showed you already from part one. Part one, we went through all the tutorials of learning how to cut up all our pieces for setting up our french fry bar. So now we're going to set up our french fry bar. And on part three, we're going to make the sauces in the canisters. Okay? Now, part one of this segment is we're going to use recycled plastics. These with the, some of the dolls that had came in and I went on and cut it in half. And I said, hmm, I'm going to recycle this. This is going to come in very handy. And that's how I started the taco bar. Now look at this. I turned it like this, upside down, cut out a piece of strip of paper to fit in there nicely and snug. And I'm going to hot glue that part down, okay? That's how I did that. That's how I'm going to do my next segment for my hamburger bar. But that's the concept. I'm going to use this for the bar setup. So people can look through the glass, not be touching it or coughing over the food and stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to move this over to the side. Okay, so the supplies that we're going to need for this part two segment is we're going to need a pair of scissors. We're going to need also some of their cut strips of french fries, and this is going to be the carne asada um, pieces here, olives and carnitas and salsa or tomatoes and onions for the white, green for the chives. We cut up some pieces here that we're going to lay our fries on. This is kind of fancy. And how I did my other fries, I just laid it on the scrapbook paper here. But I'm doing this tutorial because we're going to have some fancier fries. I'm going to show you how we do it so you can see it better. Okay, so you take a piece of cardboard, recycle. doesn't matter. It can be that or it can be just cardboard, recycle cardboard. And we have all our colors here, a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. If you are under the age requirements for using a glue gun, I suggest you get supervision while doing this project because you could burn yourself and it is not nice. Anyway, if you are under age, you really need to be supervised, but I'm not going to even go there. Okay, here we go. First thing is we have our french fries here all cut up nice and straight. See that? Then we're going to take our cardboard or cardstock. We're going to put a nice glob of glue in the center. Start off in the center. Don't make it too sloppy. Now we're going to add our french fry pieces and kind of tilt it downward so they can fall back down onto your pile. And we're going to press these down nice and firm and make sure they don't fall off. We're going to cover all the glue parts as much as possible. See how they're all sticking down and some of them are sticking up? That's perfect. That's how french fries look, right? Now we're going to put some more over here on the top part. Add some more over here. I'm going to add some more french fries. Do the same thing. Kind of scatter them around. You know, french fries are never always perfect all laying down at one time. Not as if it's on a paper towel when you take them out the grease or something like that. But this is the perfect way of doing it in this segment. All right. See how they're kind of shaping up there? Look at that. Isn't it cool? And make sure my lighting is up here for you guys. There we go. See that? Isn't that cool? All right. So the next part we're going to do, we're going to keep on adding our fries until it's filled in nice and perfectly. Now you don't want to add too many globs of glue because the hot glue actually dries super fast. So you want to be really careful and not burn yourself. We're going to lay it down again. Let some of them fall off freely. Press down, make sure they're nice and firm. Look at that. It's going to be some strings of hot glue, so you want to make sure you remove those. Yes. I really like working with a glue gun because it dries so quickly, and you don't have to wait days or hours for it to dry. So, again, be super careful. We're going to add some more french fries on this side. See that? Okay, so you guys got the concept of how to do that. 
See, now it's starting to stick to my hands. Don't worry, I'm not burning myself. I just don't like those strings. Okay. Now, the next part we're going to do, we're going to add some of the toppings on there. Now, we're going to do it just like how you would make your own french fry, loaded fries at home, okay? So, we're going to add a little bit of glue at a time. Let's we'll start off on this edge here and bring it to the center. A glob of that. That's enough for now. And we're going to work with our, let's do the refried beans. Go sprinkle those on. Shake it off. I'm going to do it again. I don't know how you guys eat your food. Do you put your beans on your fries first or you put your beans on your tortillas first? You kind of dress it up like how you really would do it in person. Some of you bachelors don't even care. You guys will just add it on <laughs> as you go along. <laughs> but see, it's starting to add colors now. We got those pork carnitas or chicken or refried beans, we'll call it. Added a little bit of that. Had a little bit of dark brown in there, but that's okay because we're going to add that on next. All right, and now let's do some dark browns for the carne asada. We're going to do the center part. Look at that. Isn't that nice? We kind of just tap it a little bit here and there. Be careful again. Take the strings off. Look at that. See that, you guys? You guys can play around with it, you know? It doesn't have to be so perfect. You know, it's just about decorating your fries up. Spreading it around, spreading the love, taking some of that off. All right, so now we're going to add on, let's do some salsa. Let's add the red or the tomatoes. And the red is such a bold color. You really don't need that many. But look at that. Get some of that glue off of there. But look at that. See? It's coming along, you guys. All right. The next layer is going to be some sour cream. Let's do some white. And then we're going to add some olives. On top of that, there we go. Look at that. See that? Now that is some jazzed up fries. Now, add a little bit of more glue. Now, the reason why we're adding a little bit of glue at a time is you don't want it to be too globby. Okay? Just a little bit. Let's add some green onions for garnishing. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Shake it off. Get the strings off. Nice. There we go. Now those are some loaded fries, you guys. Refried beans, carnitas, or chicken, steak, carne asada. We got salsa. We got sour cream. And we also have olives. Chives. And your list can go on and on and on. You guys can get really creative. You kind of spread it around a little bit. It's all good. Look at that. See? Here's mine. See that? You guys can get very flavorful with a whole bunch of things. I have a little purple on this one right there for red onions. Look at that. See that, you guys? So the next segment, part three, I'm going to show you guys how to make the sauce into the canisters. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell for more do-it-yourselfers with Barbie Travels. And we will see you guys soon on the next episodes of Barbie Travels, the French Fry Bar, Part 3. See you guys soon.